<laughs> so, do your diary. That's it. There it is. That's the story of Veronica Sawyer's senior year. A fucking disaster. I accidentally killed three people. I almost bombed an entire school. I was invisible, a Heather, a loser, and a murderer within the span of nine months. I've basically been a dead girl walking all year. I'm sad, but it's a weird kind of sad. I've been through hell and back again, but it's over now. I'm sure a lot of you wonder what happened since the last video. Besides the obvious rumors you've probably heard. But JD is... She's decided to blow off the rest of the school year. The school's fine. All the students are fine. I'm dealing. You know... When I first met JD, I thought she was deep. I thought that just because she didn't see the world through rose-colored glasses, that meant that she saw it as it really was. I was under the impression that it was romantic or intense for some to climb through your window at 3 a.m. or for them to bring guns to school. I thought that just because she quoted old books, that meant she was smart or that just because she fought assholes, that meant she was strong. But none of that is what makes someone beautiful. Because you see the world in darker light does not mean you see it correctly. We deserve better than this. Than this weird, fucked up idea that anger and brooding is cool or intense. JD wasn't cool or intense. She wasn't a rebel. She was fucking psychotic. And her idea of the world was a fantastical nightmare she couldn't wake herself up from. She was stuck trying to live a life that wasn't real because she was constantly told that people couldn't change and that we're all specific types of people. And she thought, in her demented little head, that since people can't change, there's only one way to get rid of them. I used to think that there were different types of people, too. I thought that people couldn't change, and we're all stuck in our boxes. I divided the world into Veronica's and Martha's and Heather's, and that was the food chain of people. And... You know, I've come to the conclusion that there aren't different types of people. They're just... There are just different people. JD was wrong. It benefits no one to view life like the only point is death. We don't deserve this. By we, I mean not the Heathers or Westerberg, or Ohio, I, I mean that as people. We all deserve better. Maybe we can't all be rich or gorgeous or powerful. Not everyone can be a Heather, but we can be beautiful. We deserve to be beautiful. We can be loved without being loathed by simply being good to others. So, this is the last video. My real last video. I've tried to explain everything I can. I can now only hope you see this and understand where I'm coming from. I hope you see this and you recognize the problem society has and that we as a group can learn to change society for the better without killing people. My time at Westerberg is coming to an end. And I honestly couldn't use any more static in my life. I've shown you everything I can. War may be over, but I can't promise no more Heathers. High school may not ever end, and so, before I say goodbye, 
I want to tell everyone watching this, we're all damaged and we're all frightened and we're all freaks, but you know, that's all right. To again, quote a stupid, stupid person who said something good once, I may be damaged, but you're not beyond repair. If we endure and survive and live for not only ourselves, but for others, we will make the world, we'll make it beautiful. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some places to go and people to be with, normal people. Goodbye, Westerberg. How very.